Welcome back to Dyson Days. I am Madison Dyson. Here we make videos of our day-to-day -day striving to raise our children up in the Lord and also a little bit of first-time homesteading. As most of you know, if you saw the last video, we just had a baby. So I have been resting, um, you know, pretty much in the bed or on the couch. So there's not too much action. Um, to be recorded so we'll just give you a little update so first I would like to update you guys on the homestead portion of things today we got our very first electric bill which was shocking to both of us it was way more than um, either of us want to pay for electricity so that's a little update for you. Um, you know, owning this house that is about 130 years old, we have to consider, you know, there's drafts all over the place. There's places in the basement where you can see outside, um, little things like that. And so we are trying to come up with ways to keep heat in the house and also save money. So if you have any suggestions um, on what we can do with this old house to keep heat in, lower our electric bill, um, things like that, things like that you're doing with your family. We did find an old furnace out by the barn and Mark said that he may know how to restore it or does know how to restore it. He was going to use it for the garage we have um, so that that space is heated, it's not connected to the house. So he found that furnace for the garage, but now we're thinking maybe we should put it in the house itself, and it would be um, either wood burning or coal. Um, yeah, so that could be an option. Um, another thing, we have a winter storm yeah. coming, either Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday this week. Um, it's gonna go through the Midwest and hit the East Coast. So a lot of you may be also um, impacted with this winter storm, but we're going to have, you know, negative 20, around negative 20 degree temperatures. So we're just hoping um, and praying that we can keep electricity, um, that we can figure out ways to not have a tremendous electricity bill next month um, but with this huge storm coming people are talking about getting prepared so having a generator having extra clean water on hand um, yeah just actual prepping for if the worst of the worst were to happen and we were to lose power luckily we do live close-ish to my parents so we can go stay with them if we need to high five so today in this video, I'm also going to be cooking a few things um, or baking a few things. In case power does go out, uh, we're making sugar cookies. We can decorate those if the power goes out. That'd be a fun activity. Also, biscuits. We made biscuits because those won't go bad if we don't have a refrigerator. And also homemade granola because I found that I can spend you know, minimum $5 a bag on granola. So we're gonna make those today. My mom is coming over to stay the night tonight with us so that I can get some things done. Um, even just little things like taking a shower. She can watch the kids for me. I'll also throw a little clip in there of my husband moving the furnace with his tractor. He caught that on tape or on video <laughs> on tape. In the comment section, let us know how you would suggest to save money on keeping the house warm, um, especially an old house. If you have any suggestions that won't break the bank too much.
was awesome. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you could give it a like and also subscribe to our channel. We're gonna try to post a weekly vlog from here on out. Uh, so if you give us a subscription, you'll know when we post our next video. Have a great day, bye. Bye bye.